Good everybody, today I've got here a QNAP QNA-T310G1S which, for those that don't care what the model number means, this is a Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gig Ethernet adapter via an SFP Plus module. So, this allows you to connect your MacBook or a Windows computer that's got Thunderbolt 3 to a 10 gigabit Ethernet network which is really great for like video editing and so on when you've got it stored on a NAS that you have access to via 10 gig Ethernet. And uh, now that's all a lot of assumptions, but it's pretty cool. And it'll give you a really high speed connection. So let's open this up and have a look at what is in the box. So it's pretty straightforward in here. We've got our actual device, which you can see there, that's our SFP input. Uh, and on the other side, our USB-C Thunderbolt 3 connector. Uh, so it draws three amps at five volts. So whatever device you're plugging it into, it needs to provide that much power over the Thunderbolt connector um, to actually run this. It is a decent size device. So that is worth noting. I don't have a ruler, but just for reference, here is my pen. And so you can see it is almost as long as a normal-ish sized pen. So fairly big device. Now, it does not come with any SFP cables, but you do have in the box, in addition to your couple of manuals here, your quick start guide, and your how to set the MTU instructions for both Mac, Windows, and a NAS, you also have in the box down the bottom there, Heidi, a USB-C cable, which is fairly tightly wrapped up. So you go, you've got a USB-C to, uh, so you go, you've got a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 cable here. Uh, it's only short. But you shouldn't need anything longer than that for connecting up to your device. So that is it. That's everything that comes in the box of your QNAP QNA T310G1S SFP adapter. Your actual device, a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable, quick start guide and instructions on setting the MTU. Now that is fairly important because uh, you do need to configure your device regardless of what kind it is to actually use 10 gig ethernet. So you can see here, you basically you need to enable jumbo frame support on all devices um, to at least an MTU of 9000. So we've got instructions here for Mac, Windows and NAS devices. It will vary a little bit on some of these but that's your general configuration instructions. In our quick start guide, it's really straightforward. Uh, the only thing that's possibly a little confusing is it is the same instructions for the 10 gig ethernet version of this as well. So we do have both shown here. It's just important to note we are using the SFP one in this. So that's this middle image here. That's all your indicator lights. Uh, we've got that power light on the back of our device here. And basically our connection diagram, which is really straightforward. Now there are drivers available for download for both Mac and Windows. You may need to install them. Uh, you may not. If you have trouble getting it working, check those out. So when it comes to plugging this in, basically we'll take our Thunderbolt 3 USB-C cable and we're just going to slot that straight into that plug there. It is reversible so you can plug it in either way. And we're good. Now we just need an SFP cable to connect on this end.